Okay, right here we have ourselves a gorgeous female sandhill clubtail. I don't know if you could see her in the frame. Alright, I got her in the frame right there. That is a sandhill clubtail right there. That is our target species. Alright. It could be a little flighty. I'm going to try and catch it though. There you go. Got her. Alright. I got her. There she is, right in the net. So I'm holding her in hand right now. So this is a female, so her club won't be as pronounced. But the reason these are called club tails is because they do have a little bit of, as you can see, the tail widens a lot more near the tip. Now something interesting about club tails besides that clubbed tail is that the eyes are very widely separated. That is unusual for dragonflies. Normally the eyes are touching or almost touching. But in club tails, the eyes are very well separated. Now something really interesting about the sandhill club tail is that where I'm at right now is the only spot that these guys have been recorded in all of South Florida. Now, sandhill club tails exist in central Florida, northern Florida, southern Alabama and Georgia, and a disjunct population in North Carolina. But I actually discovered this species in South Florida on the channel last year. And it is great to see that this species has returned for a second year to this spot. And something tells me that they breed at this spot. So these are probably coming out every year. Now sandhill clubtails are active for a very short time during the year. They're only active from February to May. So there's a very short time period that these guys are active and I'm taking advantage of it right now and hopefully we could find a bunch more of these guys. Hopefully even a male so I could show you some of the ways that I could tell the difference between this species and the expected species in South Florida, the cypress clubtail. As you can see, she is biting me right now. Look at those mandibles, these toothed mandibles. Dragonflies are incredible predators, especially clubtails. Hopefully, we can see her during the normal flight style. Now club tails normally fly very low to the ground and I'm gonna see what she does when I release her. Now club tails will just scan low to the ground in search of insects like flies and other smaller dragonflies and damselflies. They don't glide up in the air like other dragonflies do or perch in high spots, which is called hawking. Instead, these will perch on the ground and they'll only fly short distances low to the ground and search for insects that they'll eat. So watch as I release her, she's gonna stay nice and low to the ground and probably land pretty close to me. And look at that, she has landed. I'm gonna see if I could film her where she's landed right now. Check that out. I don't know if you can see her, yep, there she is in the frame exactly where she landed, probably only about 20 feet away from me. You can see she stayed nice and low to the ground. And that's where they normally fly. This what I have right here is a beautiful male sandhill clubtail. So, all of the color pattern techniques that you could use to identify sandhill clubtail are the same on males and females. Look at that dark line across the face right there and also that straight occiput line, the line in between the eyes. On the expected South Florida species, which I'm hoping to find later, that occiput line would be curved and the face would be not that distinctly with a dark line in the middle. Since this is a male, there's also a structural difference that you could use. The cerci, those little appendages at the bottom, have an extra little tooth on them in Sandhill. And if we could find the cypress club tail, we could see how smooth the cerci in that species would be.
just an absolutely gorgeous species. Alright, time to let this beautiful sandhill clubtail go. Alright, so we are in a different kind of habitat right now. And this right here is the cypress clubtail. So besides habitat, which is a little bit of a difference between this and the sandhill clubtail, the cypress clubtail, thankfully this is a male, so I could show you the cirque difference. C cypress clubtail does not have the extra tooth on the cirque. That would be present on sandhill clubtail. But both sexes also have a more curved line in between the eyes, as you can see on this specimen, as well as a much paler face than the sandhill clubtail. So this is my first time ever catching a cypress clubtail and I'm so happy to finally be holding one of these in hand. Such a beautiful species. All right, children, I'm going to release this absolutely gorgeous cypress clubtail back into the surrounding habitat.